Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Jessica. We have made it to the final week of the Stargazer Quilt Along. I'm so excited that we've made it to this point. This is a really great feeling where you get to see all your hard work on the blocks paying off and them turning into a quilt. So let's get started. I've laid all my blocks out here for the quilts and I am just looking at them and making sure they're in the right orientation and that everything looks nice. I'm going to start sewing them together and I'm going to do it vertically. So I'm going to take the first row and sew it to the second, add the third, fourth, fifth, and so on until the whole quilt top is sewn together. I have my quilt top all assembled and I'm going to press it now and then I'll add the border. I have my quilt top all pieced together and my border on. I went with this border here. I had this in my stash and I wanted to use it up. This is a glow in the dark dot and I've got, I got this years ago. I thought it would be good to just use what I have here for the border. And I'm going to start thinking about a pantograph to use for this. I settled on a design for this quilt and this is what it looks like. It's starting to stitch it out. It's like a modification of an orange peel. Sometimes when I do designs that are a little bit complicated and I'm gonna be in and out of the room, I turn the speed down. It takes considerably longer, but um, they stitch out really accurately and I don't have to be standing over the machine the whole time. So that's why this is going slow. But so far, everything that is stitched looks absolutely beautiful. I finished all the quilting and I have my quilt laid out here. It looks gorgeous. I'm so happy with the way that this quilting turned out. There's a really nice contrast, in my opinion, between the quilt design and the quilting, and it kind of just brings it to life for me. I love the texture that you can see that this design gives. It's a really, really great look for this quilt. Here you can see the backing of my quilt. I showed you this fabric in the beginning and I was thinking about putting it in the blocks, but I had originally bought it to use as a backing and I wanted to try to do that. I love this print. This is from my stash and I did not have enough to back this entire quilt, but I did the best that I could do and then I added some. So let me show you what I added. I added a black strip, which is actually the same fabric that I use for the border. I added that on one side here, but I also added it across the bottom. So um, I've never done a quilt backing like this before. I've pieced them. I've added, um, I've added fabric to make a certain one bigger. I've done, you know, little strips across the back, but I've never quite done it on one side and the bottom. But I really like how it looks. And um, I don't mind at all that it's the same as the border. I think it gives it a little bit of continuity. It's pretty cool. All in all, I'm so happy with how my quilt turned out. It's so very different than this quilt right here. I'm gonna show you the two of them next to each other. Here they are. My kids are back in school, so I have no helpers to hold this up during the day when I'm filming. But here is the one I just made, minus the binding. I still need to do that. And here is the original. They are both so different but I think that they are both so pretty. This one is scrappier. I used a lot of different fabrics here. My stars are kind of made in different colors, but the black chain really still comes through and you can see those pretty diamonds through the quilts. Whereas the original one that I made, I made the stars in all of the same colors and the red stands out just as much to me as the black does. Thank you for joining me in this quilt along and watching the videos along the way. If you have any questions on making this quilt, just let me know and I'll be sure to answer. And watch out for the next quilt along. I'm working on planning it now. I have some new patterns that I'll be sharing within the next couple weeks and then I'm gonna hold a vote and you guys can pick the one that we'll do next. I'm thinking um, it'll be this fall, so keep a lookout for that. Thanks again for following along. I'll see you back here soon.